and welcome back to Let's Play Ever Oasis. Alright, we got some new residents that are gonna get here eventually. And by that I mean we have side quests we need to do. And then once we're actually done with all that, I'll finally grow that five sprite we, we've been holding out on. Anyways, what's more important right now is that Issa is here. Let's go recruit her. Our very first crossbow user. And then we should probably do that side quest to recruit Jora, shouldn't we? Yeah, we need to recruit him because I think he has a shawl shop. And this guy wants a shawl. So we're going to build that. Oh, and Issa has the bakery, so we can get this girl too. I think that's female. I forget who it who, ah, I forget who it is who likes bread. Anyways, let's go recruit Issa. Then we'll build her bakery, because I think we have like one slot available here. Yeah, we have some room over here. And I think we have some room in the back row too that we can put it down at. Man, we're running out of space in the Oasis again. Oh wait, explorers are back. Uh, what they bring back? Anything good? It was successful. That's good. Where did I send them again to the Woodsea? Yeah, I sent them to the Woodsea for materials. Uh, not bad. That fresh bark is actually pretty good. But not the best. I'm gonna send them right back out there. This time I'm gonna have them hunt monsters for me. Off you go. There we go. Alright. You, get in the oasis. I need your crossbow. But yeah, with a crossbow now, so many other things are going to be open. Now we can actually take on flying enemies. Actually, we could have just built our own crossbow. Actually, no, I don't think I have the materials to build a crossbow. So yeah, now flying enemies won't really be a problem for us anymore. Uh, we can finally start using some of those balloon bridges in the wood sea. Oh, wait, one second. She has a side quest for us. Quest for beautiful, unusual things. Uh, Luminous Hollow during the day, Gate of Admonition at night. I think those are both in the Wood Sea. Alright, we'll keep an eye out for this guy. Also, we're ready for another level. Awesome. Let's go get that level real quick. And then one. Oh no. Actually, I want to build before we leave. Because if we build when we get back, that uh, other resident probably won't show up until like tomorrow. Alright, let's put the bakery down. And then I'm going to save the other slot for the uh, shawl shop. I just want to get as many people in the Oasis as we can before we uh, proceed with the main story. Alright, bakery is down. She makes bread. I think we have a lot of material for bread, actually, considering all the random stuff I've been growing. Actually, before we do anything, let's make sure everyone is restocked. There we go. Alright, everyone's mostly restocked. That's fine. Let's go level up. What level are we getting? 13? Unlucky 13. This one, I think this is just an empty level. Because, yeah, di last time didn't we get an expanded back road and all that stuff? Pretty sure this one's just going to be uh, stats and recipes like always. Also, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. I'm still getting over another cold. This has not been a good cold season for me. Yeah, just another HP and recipe level. That's fine. Alright, we could make our own crossbow now, though. Uh, but we already have a crossbow user. I don't really feel like making another one. Plus, I don't have the materials for any of this stuff anyways. Let's go put together another party and then head out. So we need to go back to the wood sea to... What are we looking for again? A bracelet? Yeah, finding a charmed bracelet. And in order to get that, we're going to need to take on some flying enemies. So, let's bring Issa into the party. Uh, I don't remember if we're going to have to break anything or cut anything. We might have to cut some webbing at some point, though. Hmm. I'm going to need to decide who I want to bring with me, then. Here, let's bring... We'll bring you with us. There we go, just in case we run into any webbing that we come across. Oh, before we go out. Uh, is everyone's equipment upgraded? Also, I just realized, what level is Issa? 
She is level... I don't know. I just realized. You can't see their level on the screen. Uh, she's level... Where is it? Can we actually not see their level here? I guess we... I've never really realized that before. We can't see their... Oh, no, wait, never mind. She's level 10. I see it now. I just kind of derped. Okay, she'll be fine then. Everyone's around level 10 right now, so she won't be, like, one-shot by anything, hopefully. But yeah, I think the Gate of Admonition is, like, in the center of this area somewhere. And I know Luminous Gate is, like, to the south. I don't think we can actually access either of them without a crossbow, because we're going to have to pop up some balloons. Anyways, flying enemies. Let's get rid of them. So yeah, she's really good against flying enemies. But that being said, they can be a bit harder to hit sometimes when they're flying around in circles. Just because there is travel time with our arrows. But that's so much easier than what we had to do with, like, melee characters. Because the thing is, all of our characters are short. Which is a problem when all the enemies fly just out of our reach. Honestly, we could kind of hit them with Levi with his power attack. But we would barely be clipping them with Levi, even then. Actually, maybe a spear user would be good for them. Oh, nope. Uh, I kind of don't want to go down there. I'm just going to let my party members take care of him. There we go. Alright, so where's the enemy we're looking for? There he is. One second. Alright, let's take this thing down. Uh, Issa doesn't have any skills with her crossbow, though. That being said, we should probably be careful in this area. There are, like, a bunch of Reaper wings around here try that's gonna, that are going to try to kill me soon. In fact, I think I'm under attack right now. Yep, I am under attack right now. Fortunately, I have cutscene invulnerability. That being said, we're going to want to move as soon as we get out of this cutscene. Like, right now, we need to move. Now. Alright, so before we head back, I want to head down to... Can I switch to another side quest? Uh, no, we can't actually access the map for this one. Let's go check the Luminous Gate real quick. It's to the south. We haven't been there yet. Alright, to, to get there, I think we're going to need to pop these things. Oop, nope, come on. There we go. Alright, so with that, I think we can hop across that gap. I'm just going to ignore these enemies for now. Uh, where's the big balloon? Is it right here? There's a big balloon. There we go. Ah, uh, more Reaper wings. I'm just gonna ignore them. Here, it'll be faster if I use a non-crossbow user to cut these cacti down. Oh, hi there. Ah, uh, don't mind me. Actually, no, I kind of need gator materials. I'm just gonna get rid of you real quick. Oh, wait, we have skill, don't we? I think we can poison enemies. Yep, we can poison enemies. There we go. Eh, that one's too bad. And there's another one right here. Well, Gator Claws are kind of really helpful, so... Might as well take them out right now. Hopefully my expedition will bring back a couple. Because I did have them go hunt monsters in the area. Alright, so Luminous Gate should be right here. Whoa. Should be right here. Uh, yeah, let's not fight that thing. Alright, so we're looking for a very fashionable seedling somewhere around here. Also, we're going to... Can we hit that from here? Or is that gate in the way? Oh, we can't hit it from here. Awesome. Alright, who's over here? There's sand. Oh, can I not get... Oh, wait. I think I know where the switch is. I see it now. It's hidden behind the sand. Nope, never mind. That's a mining spot. Uh, I don't see a switch I can hit from here. With my crossbow. Yeah, there's not a switch over here. 
Unless it's up here somewhere. No, I don't see it. Okay, let's try the other route then. Uh, there's another gate in the way. I don't see the switch for this guy. Oh, wait, there he is. Hi there. Uh, before we talk to you, I'm just gonna break these real quick. Hopefully those didn't belong to you. Hi there. How did you get back here without a crossbow? He makes belts. Okay. Actually, he might be a crossbow user. I don't remember. Alright, so he'll come visit in a few days. Issa, are you okay? She kind of got stuck there for a second. Let's head back. Unfortunately, there's not really a warp point here that we could use to come back here quickly. We're going to have to cross the entire area again if we want to come back. That's fine. Because someone new just arrived. Who is it? Oh, I think it's the bread lady. Well, the lady who wanted the bread. The one who, wants, who liked bread so much that she, she would scream. She makes donuts, apparently. But she prefers bread. It wouldn't be that hard to switch from donuts to bread. Actually, they kind of get cooked completely differently. Donuts are fried and bread is baked. Also, donuts are a lot more dangerous to make than bread. I should know. I have actually burned myself making donuts before as a kid. It was in home ec class in, like, what, 6th grade? I accidentally got a bit of burning uh, oil on my hand. I think I still have the scar on it for it. It wasn't that bad, though. It was only, like, a tiny little burn. Anyways, we found this guy's bracelet. Well, it's not his bracelet. It's his friend's uh, bracelet. But either way, that's fine. We got a lamp plant. And more importantly, we got a new resident. At least we should have a new resident. Yep, there we go. Both side quests fulfilled. So now we can build the Shaw Shop. And that means tomorrow, hopefully, someone new will arrive. And then we can try to recruit them. And then after that, I think we'll finally proceed with the main storyline. We kind of met the requirements to proceed with the main storyline like two episodes ago at 25 residents. But that's fine. Alright, so let's get his uh, thing planted. We should have room in the back road. Yep, here we go. Down with the Shaw Shop. We actually have quite a bit of money now. I could go crazy with the seeds again, but no, I kind of want to save the money in case I need to build anything. Anyways, let's go see the donut lady. Time to go please her with our bread, and then see what she wants. Uh, I don't think we need to restock anything, and none of the explorers are back yet. Where is she? There she is. So, tell me, what would you like? I mean, we have a bakery. I could put your donut shop right next to the ba- Actually, wait, no, we can't. We don't have room. Never mind. Alright, so we brought her bread. And now she wants nectar. Nectar from the flying squ- Why do the squirrel owls have nectar? Uh, sure, I guess we'll have to go fight some then. Oh, we're going back to the Luminous Hongo. Awesome. Let's head back. Oh, I just remembered. Yep. Uh, if only our Aqua Gate didn't disappear. We could literally just warp right over there and just get it right now. Alright, we got a bit of a walk ahead of us. Let's go do it right now before she leaves. Uh, closest would still be the Resting Roost, I think. Man, I really wish our Aqua Gate didn't disappear. We had one right inside the Luminous Hollow that we could have used. Or Luminous Gate. No, Luminous Hollow. Alright. Let's head down there then. Time to go get ourselves some more nectar. Actually, couldn't we just make our nectar some nectar and just give it to her? But no, apparently she wants the very specific type of nectar that these squirrel uh squirrel owls drop. 
Or maybe it's stolen from her. Also, there are a bunch of enemies around that's lagging the game. I mean, yeah, there are five scroll bats right here. Why can't we just steal his nectar? He looks like he could hold some nectar. Actually, the, oh no, wait. We're looking for a scroll owl, not a scroll bat. Never mind. Even though bats are more associated with nectar than owls. Alright, let's just build the bridge over. It, uh, over. There we go. I think the ga Gate of Admonition is somewhere in this area too. But I don't remember where. It might be in that central, like, hollow area right next to us. Actually, yeah, it might be, like, right over here. Let's see. Nope, just gonna ignore you. Oh yeah, I think it's like down that path. Actually, wait, there might be a warp point there that we could use instead of having to walk all the way over here. Oh yeah, I see the entrance right there. Let me go see if there's a warp point I can activate. And then we'll head back down south. Uh, what do we have over here? No, I don't see a warp point. I do see a chaos gate that we're gonna have to kill things to get through. In fact, we're under attack right now. I'm just gonna leave. We'll come back here later if we really need to. Or if we have any more side quests in this area. Let's just go get that nectar and then head back. I want to get back before she leaves for the night. I think they leave at midnight. Actually, I think they leave in the morning. Yeah, I'm not really sure if they leave at midnight or if they leave at 6 a.m. I want to say midnight, but... Then again, they tend to stay pretty late. Either way, we'll be back before then anyways. I hope. Alright, so let's find this thing. Where is it? It's inside. Great. Did we ever figure out a way inside? It's gotta be a, like a switch I can hit somewhere in this area. Yeah, I don't see a switch I can hit from this area. Uh, let's try the other path again. I was probably just missing something last time. Because, yeah, we have access to the side quest for this area, so we should be able to get through it. And we have all the weapon types, so that can't be it. I'm probably missing something super obvious. Actually, wait. If I flip this, does the other gate open? Yep, I was missing something super obvious. Okay, then. Alright, so we're looking for the squirrel bat. They're further in. Uh, looks like we have to kill some enemies to get through, though. That's fine. These are all beast types, though. Time to slash. Actually, let's buff everyone up. Actually, wait, no, we can't buff anyone up. We don't have the SP for it right now. Also, why can't... Oh, we can't do our combo because we're in quicksand. That's why. Forgot about that. You don't really fight that much in quicksand, so you can't do your combo when you're uh, pretty much sinking. You have to be on solid ground. Oh, whoa. Okay, time to heal. Oh, these guys are kind of hurting. I really need to upgrade my equipment. I think I'm going to head back to the house and maybe craft a couple new accessories. Or maybe just gain like a level or two. There we go. Alright, time to go further in. It is past midnight already. So we'll have to see- Oh, it's a dark room. This might be a problem. I don't have any wand users. Eh, it can't be that bad. I'm just gonna fire at the icon until it goes down. Yeah, I'm just kind of firing blindly into the dark here. I don't see the enemy at all. There it is. Okay, it's a lot bigger than I- Oh no, it confused me. It just used supersonic. This is fine. It's just sucking my health. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Okay, it kind of hurt a lot, but it wasn't horrible. Here, let's warp back to the Oasis then. Alright, so we have the thing. Hopefully she hasn't left yet. It's 2 in the morning. But according to the icon, she's still wandering around. 
Where is she? The icon says she was on the main street. All the stores are like, oh good, she is still here. I guess they don't leave until like 6 a.m. in the morning when the uh, day crosses over. Anyways, we got her her nectar. She gave us a slab. Ooh, it's our first silver slab. We could do some tougher uh, hieroglyphic dungeons later. But more importantly, we have another resident. That makes, what, 29 residents in the Oasis? Yeah, I think that makes 29. Yep. Is that enough for another level yet? Yep, another level. Let's go level real quick. And then we'll go to sleep, see who arrives in the morning, and then after that, I think it's about time we plant that wheat. Let's go see what we can get from this level, though. I hope it's not another empty level. Alright. Time to make the oasis even bigger. I'm kind of hoping for some room on Main Street or in the back road. Or how even more garden space would be good. Uh, did we get anything? Oh, wait, I think we got room on the back road? Yeah, I think we got some more room. Oh, yep. We got some more room in the back road. Awesome. So we can build a couple more booths back there. I think, like, probably one or two. Yep, two more balloon booths. Oh, and a second nut tree. Okay, then. And a couple new recipes. So, yeah, we could get the Oasis some more upgrades soon. But I think it's time for bed. It's three in the morning. Let's see who arrives in the morning. I think we have two people who are set to arrive right now. Uh, the Shaw guy and the other one. What was the other one that we did? Oh, it's the guy that we found at the uh, Luminous Hollow. That's right. Well, one of them arrived at least. Hey, Seth. Oh, you're a non ceiling With you, we might have enough for a third expedition group. Actually, we have enough for a third expedition group right now, but I kind of don't want to put everyone on an expedition in case I need them. For like a puzzle or something. All right, oh, and Explorers have returned. Uh, let's go greet everyone then. Let's see what they brought back. Hopefully something good. If not, I'm sending right them right back out. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm sending them out, but anyways. All right, so let's find a tree real quick. Uh, yeah, we have the uh, money for it. All right, so that's being planted. Let's see what they brought. Hopefully it's something good. What'd you bring me? Ooh, a big success. Man, you are just a really good team, aren't you guys? And they just got some levels. Alright, levels. Levels. Oh, hey, she learned some skills. Uh, acid breath, apparently. Color stone, poison sand. Ooh, plenty of spider thread. Oh, wow, that is actually quite a few things. Uh, let's send them to the Ocean Acropolis for... Monster... Yeah, let's enough for monster parts. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong team. Wrong team. Let's just use the same part. Or, same team. I think it was... You, you, and you. Yeah, it was you three. Go give me another big success, please. Alright. Oh, wait. Right, wrong one. Hi, Levi. You weren't the one I was looking for. You were. Alright, we have the sh Oh, that was all he needed. Okay. Well, that was easy. Kind of expecting to have to do a side quest for him, but I guess not. Alright, so with that, I think we only have one more person we're waiting on. But then again, who knows when they'll arrive. Actually, yeah, I think we only have, like, one more person we need to wait on. 
Niter. Oh yes, yeah, the guy we found at the gate. Or not the gate, the Luminous Hall. Eh, uh, who knows when he'll arrive. You know what, let's actually go get that wheat planted then. Actually, we probably should have checked on the garden at some point anyways. We kind of have been neglecting that part, uh, place for the last few days. Oh, money. Awesome. We're actually kind of low on money right now. Because I just paid for- Oh, hello there. That's a rumor. Oh, ice cream- Oh, we don't have access to an ice cream shop, do we? Ice cream and belts. That's a... Really, really odd combination. Hopefully not at the same time. Belt play what would belt flavored ice cream taste like? Bad. That's what it would taste like. Uh, but yeah, I don't think we have access to an ice cream shop, do we? Actually, we have uh, room in the back road. Let's put a few more blue boots down. Actually, wait, no, never mind. I can't afford them. Yeah, I don't think we have any ice cream yet. Juice, veggie, sash, soup. Soup is kind of like ice cream, except it's hot and not at all like ice cream. Okay, yeah, we can't do anything about this guy yet. We don't have access to the ice cream shop. That's fine. Let's go get that wheat planted. Do I even have anything growing right now? I don't. I probably should have had something growing for the last few days. Oh well. Alright, so with this we should get the key. Oh, you know what? Let's water it. No need to wait an entire day. So with that we should have the key to the next dungeon. Uh, once we actually get this stuff planted and traded for the... What are we trading it for again? It was... Oh, I think we were trading it to the merchant for like... Uh, the relic of the Nagora that they sold off for some reason. And then after that they'll give us access to their dungeon. Alright, so now we just have to wait a day for that to finish growing. And with that, I think we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Ever Oasis, we'll see if this guy finally- not this guy, but we'll see if that guy finally arrives, and then, uh, we'll proceed with the main story finally. Sure, we just- did, uh, did he arrive? Now, I was kind of hoping the cutscene would pop up there. Anyways, we'll probably finally proceed with the main story. We've kind of been distracted with recruiting way too many residents at once. So, till then. Healing fruit. Good. 